Nice and durable. Good. Hey, I didn't realize it was only two span on the bridge. Yep. Okay. Uh, so I have a card. Oh, until next turn. Dang. Can you get him to hit anyone? Or you're not close enough to be in archer's range? Yeah, give me a second. I'm just gonna have him use anger here. I want them to come after me. Yeah, those are the soldiers from the battlefield a long time ago that I was explaining in the little recap. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move forward a bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna have him boost do the parry. defense. Yeah. Because that defense lasts for the entire battle. Ooh. Uh, so if I can do that before using retaliation, it works better for me. Okay, and then just end turn. I originally thought it would be my my units versus his units. Yeah, he's baiting me forward. Which is annoying. Well, uh, get your archers to strike them down. I don't know if I can. So part of it is I have to get them in there. Um, mm -hmm. Which is difficult. So I'm just going to be a... Uh, I'm just going to roll forward very slowly. Energy and defense by three. Speed up. No, let's do rebound. Well, can you also use any cards? How much health do those dudes have? Uh, thirties. A okay. lot. Yeah, these guys are these guys are not easy. Okay, I'm just gonna end turn. Luckily, they're all melee except for the guy in the back who has a spear. Mm-hmm. Uh, dang it. Oh, what? the camera can't move. Yeah, the camera panned over. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, there. I can hit one of them. Okay, you can do 21 damage to his health or nuke his armor. But then you're going to lose half your health. He too. gets four of it back. He heals. It's like a per turn or a per kill. I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. But this way I can at least work on killing this guy. Uh. Spearman can't move anywhere. Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Uh, let's see. And this is still Frisk, so we're... Or, Fisk. So we're mm -hmm. gonna wait here. Oh, what was that? I have no idea. Using an ability of some sort. Dodge. Defense by three does not end turn. I'm just gonna move him forward. I'm just gonna armor all of my guys for this round. It doesn't look like they're... They're not advancing. Far. No, they're not. I really thought that there was going to be a time limit for when the whole bridge blows up, but... Okay, what are his abilities? Cure incre gives energy. Oh, so he's the healer. And, oh, defense to all party members. Mm. That's... You need to strike him down. A bit worrying. Yeah. Okay, shelter... I've already done anger. I'd like to do knockback. Five energy. But you need to get close to them to do knockback. Yeah, I'll do it. He'll have a ton of armor for this anyway. Yeah, let's do knockback. Oh, but that guy was can't go backwards because he's yep. right next to him. And he can't do anything. Okay. Ouch. I think we'll be fine. What I can do Take is Take off some health armor, from someone. Health energy. Um Yeah. He's gonna do seven. That not enough. Oh yeah, you can probably hit him with an archer. Uh I can. That's not enough damage. Which is an annoyance. I have Onslaught. Oh, which is only 7 health. Okay. 
Let's just move here. I'll kill this guy. He hasn't even taken his turn yet, anyway. Mm -hmm. So, onslaught on this guy. Kill him. Ugh. And their corpses just remain kneeling on the battlefield. Yep. You have no armor now on him. No, he has armor. He just has no energy. Oh, energy. Okay. Okay. Um... He's wounded. He can't go anywhere. Yeah, why don't you send Fisk forward? Uh, Fisk or Flit? Or either one. I mean, it'd be nice if Fisk could start poking them from behind the lines, but... Uh, the rogue can do ranged abilities, and obviously both archers should be pelting them. Yeah, I'll just send Fisk forward for a bit. I want them to come towards me. I'd prefer not to waste as... I'd prefer to waste as little energy as I can. So defense is actually not scaled per battle, it's just per round. Mm -hmm. Which is a bit tougher. Okay, right. End turn. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, because they, they can't get through his shield. It's just on Why the next round. Why didn't he strike round. back? Is it because they're one step away? I, I wasn't counterattacking with him. Oh, you didn't have retaliation up. I mm -hmm. see. I need to make those archers useful. Yeah. Well, my archers are pretty useful, because here's the thing. I can just kill this guy. It's going to take off almost all your health, though. Yeah. Probably better to just attack him normally. Um, I was considering... Other things. Whoa. He's a ranged skill? Yeah, they, they have ranged abilities. Okay, so I'm learning I'm learning things about this game, sort mm -hmm. of. Like He needs to be able to use his archery skills too. Yeah, well here's the thing. You can shoot him from there. Yeah. I'm gonna shoot him from here. Or, I guess he moved into position for it. But that's fine. These guys don't have a high enough range for it. Who's he gonna heal? That guy, I guess. Okay, my turn. So I don't want him to do that. I do have my turns back. I can kill this guy. Mm -hmm. But I should probably... It looks like you can move your, um, your archers. Why not archer some of the low health ones with basic attacks? That is entirely true. Uh, let's kill this guy. So do my archers... Wait, oh! I messed up! What happened? I was supposed to attack his our energy. Energy rather than yeah. health? Yeah. Oops. At least I think that's what happened. I'm not entirely sure yet. Okay, so he's healing. Yeah, the more I... Well, actually, is he healing, or is he just giving that guy absurd amounts of health? Because, look, it's 52 rather than 30. Yeah. He's just like making that, that guy be super beefy. Case. I guess what I should probably do... Get rid of that guy? Yeah, just go up and kill him. I didn't realize he was... Yep, he only had 2 HP. Killable. Yep. They're really going after the spearmen. Yeah, they're... I don't entirely know why. Okay. Yeah, I'm just mostly afraid to use Thorn. Uh... For anything. I have... Parry. Well, Thorn? Oh, because of yeah, the... Yeah, Thorn Brennan, he's out of energy. Kind of out of energy. So if they attack my energy, I'm in trouble. But I guess that's what I have parry for. You can also give him energy, can't you? Uh, With your cards. No. Also, using my cards takes a turn. Oh, mm-hmm. So you better use everything up. Yeah, kind of. 
Gonna poke? Yeah. Piercing strike. Hit his armor. Looks like they have shards. It's interesting. Yeah, they've got like weird blade shard business. Arch oh, the archers can't move. Nope. And unfortunately, he can't get in position. Because there is, aren't enough squares. Yeah. Yep. Gonna heal him preemptively, though. I was really hoping that would use his turn. Unfortunately, using a card costs a whole turn, which is rough. Mm -hmm. But I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, energy, defense... Might as well do rebound. Not sure what that's going to do for him, but that's okay. They really want Fisk dead. Yeah, they do. It's kind of obnoxious. All right. Yeah, Archer Exhausting him down. shot. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Grab him. Seven health. Mm. Or get rid of... Wow. I don't know what reducing his defense does to some degree. That That's an extreme shot. But I think that'll, I think that'll do exactly what I need it to do. Okay, does he... Can't do knockback. But that's fine. I don't think this guy... Oh, he can't attack. Everyone in a line. Oh. Um, that's fine. Can you get the captain to get by? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just... Oh. What's wrong? He has a little bit more HP than I thought he did. Well, that's fine. We have one character that can kill him. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, he had 16 HP. A little bit higher than I thought it... He now had. he's coming into the fray. Which was... Wow, that was kind of nothing. I mean, he's the buffer. True. Uh, let's see. Bust his armor off or hit him for... Let's just hit him for six. If you can get an archer to peg him... Uh, thorn, Thorn's in range. Thorn? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's scary. At 5 HP? Mm-hmm. Yeesh. Don't want to lose a party member. I think this that's is... That's okay. We're fine. Like, We got it. Right? Yeah. Uh, death, I believe, is permanent. I don't know if it's in battle, though. Mm-hmm. I'll have to see what those do. At least everybody levels up, which will help. You notice Ramlin on the bridge. He totters along with lifeless eyes. You know the horrors he's seen and want to approach him, but Glita beats you to it. Ramlin hugs her and starts crying, nearly choking on his tears. You can't bring yourself to interrupt them. Glita tries to calm him down, and you listen to his jumbled account of what happened in the empty village. Judging by the bloodstains, some of the bodies were thrown in the river, and some, he goes silent, and you turn your attention to the men here. That's a nice outcropping. Yeah. I mean, this whole thing is just really well done. Oh, right. You need to get injured three times to die. And then um. falling battle is an injury. Well, that helps a little bit. All right. Well, let's talk to the survivor first. The lone survivor sits near the men here. Wait, you mustn't. Abominations corrupted the sacred stone, and now it only brings death. I saw people dying after touching the men here. The last captives were forced onto the stone by the Enzies. Curses, so that's why they soaked it in blood. The witchery, pieces of shit. Thanks for the warning. I was wondering why in Terminum you're just sitting there, giving no thanks or anything for being saved. Honestly, I can't even stand straight. I've already given up hope. But I'm really grateful. The name's Vi. I'm a wandering monk. Now I'll be praying to the gods on your behalf, in every temple in Burkana. My name is Thorn Brennan. 
I'm a retired captain of the guard. You'll meet others later. Meet the others later. Tell me what happened here before you get back to praying. Why did they leave you alive? Abominations didn't kill all villagers at once. Some were kidnapped and forced to dig a mass grave until it was their turn. The men here was showered in their blood. I'm the only one left. Why did they need a grave? They never buried people they killed behind the bridge. Dunno. I think they just wanted to torture us as long as they could. They made it as painful and scary as possible. Those fiends. Slaughtering and torturing so many in a single day. In the grave. We'll have to use it, I'm afraid. How did the Watch manage to miss a whole mob of enemies and captives? There were too many of them. First it was the cavalry. We didn't even know what hit us. Then we heard the cries from the other side of the bridge. Even more abominations. Some of them didn't even get a horse. Uh, didn't get a horse and stayed behind. The others left. So, that's what those prints were. The gods truly saved our necks. We could have easily stumbled upon them on our way here. You mentioned captives. What happened? I heard screams and saw smoke rising. All dead. None were spared. Not even children or, el or the elderly. Show me your neck. Are there any marks? So, this plague's gotten to you too. Let me tell you something. You know those rare gems called Strixes? They fight off the corruption. They eventually burn out, though. We heard about it already, but thanks. How did you come across the Strixes and learn of their properties? I meant to meet the abbot in one of the temple libraries. Then a scroll about the reaping caught my eye. No one reads this stuff. I mean, it's just legend. I've got Strix in my beads. An old tradition, this is. All of us wandering monks need to wear them. Vi, you're the luckiest person I've ever met. The gods must be keeping you alive for some higher purpose. You've already told me what I needed to know. So what are you up to now? We'll just try another men here. The NCs couldn't have smeared all of them with blood, could they? There's a men here on the way to Ursus. The little stockade around it. Perhaps the watchman there will be able to beat back the NCs. Let me come with you. I've got to go to the temple of in Ursus to tell the abbot about what I've seen. At least I won't be lonely for half of the way, if I join your company. Well, I can't just leave you alone, can I? Uh, just know that you must obey my every order without question, if you wish to stay with us. By the way, they've left a couple of horses. That's nice. Five Strixes. Ramlin! They killed everyone in my village. Some were thrown into the river, and others... You saw the corpses along the road. There were even people from the neighboring hamlets. Why do these bastards do this? I don't know. Seems like they were, they savor suffering and death. We've purged this place of abominations and we'll kill any more that we find. My grandmother thought I was a, I was wizard material. She even gave me her amulet. Let me come with you, Thorn. I don't want to be a wizard. I want to be a warrior. That's why I joined the guards. Take the amulet, please. Hey. Hmm. But it's his grandmother's locket. At the s He we'll doesn't take it. want He's to be a wizard. He's giving it to us. Okay. There's a Strix in your grandmother's amulet. That explains a lot. Strixes provide some protection from the reaper's curse, reaping curse. So I manage them. So I manage them while we travel together. If you're ready to fight and follow orders, you can come with us. Is there anything else you'd like to say? <sighs> Let's see, listening, ner listening nervously, Ramblin opens his purse with shaking hands and gives you several magical cards. How did you come by magical cards? They're heavy, like lead, and hot to the touch. And you say you don't want to be a wizard? These cards used to be grandmothers. I played with them when I was little. She said that if they became heavier, it meant playtime was over, and that something bad was brew brewing. I want to give them to you. You're my senior. You should use them. Do you even realize what these it are? What this is? What's there to realize? My grandmother said that these cards aid those who want to use magic or shield themselves from it, but have no shamanic power of their own. The cards are Chimeran, and the Chimera themselves are said to be the descendants of the Abominations. Right. Descendants of Abominations? I guess so. What? I don't know. I've heard of them, but I didn't expect them to reclaim power. I want a couple myself. Who could have guessed that ancient trinkets would come in handy? <laughs> the reaping's begun, Thorn. We used to be sup what used to be superstition and legend is manifesting with magic. You must have noticed that some items are displaying special properties. The cards are no ex exception. 
What use are your cards? You can normally deduce what a card does based on the picture. They're not for wizards, remember? They're for people without special powers, so each card has a hint. Using them is easy as pie. Close your fingers around a card and use your will to direct its power. They're useful, no arguing that. But I'm more at ease with my trusty sword. You can't scatter an enemy detachment without a with a bunch of cards. Who knows? I've never used them myself, but it's possible that a card might trump a weapon. But remember, if you give the cards to another person, they can use them too. Why are some of them broken? They're not broken, it's just incomplete. I remember the time my grandmother procured a handful of shards. She assembled the picture, and the shards sort of glued themselves together. Do you suggest I go everywhere looking for these shards? It's up to you. People have always collected fragments from these cards. Even though they didn't know their true value, they always they use them as ambulance and souvenirs. That's why many merchants sell them. Same goes for items containing strixes. Thank you, but we really need to go now. Be careful with these cards. Anyone can use them. Sometimes it's better to use a weapon instead of standing around waiting for something magical to happen. I expect you to do more than just gape. If you can cast proper spells, do it. And thank you for the plaques. I have a feeling we'll need them. Well, you can count on me and make haste. There's something odd and evil emanating from the men here. I wouldn't tarry here. You watch Ramlin go, and notice the commotion near the wounded woman. Gleda stops you as you run up. She's giving birth, Dad! Chase them all off and get Ramlin... Uh, let Ramlin do his thing? Oh, is she referring to all the other men? Yeah. Probably. Seems he's the only one who knows what to do. Everyone want, runs around, looking for clean water and rags. You didn't even feel this much pressure when commanding an entire squadron. After all the pains... You're finally rewarded with a baby's cry. Lita frowns deeply at you. The baby is safe, but we couldn't save the mother. She's been through a lot. I'll go search the watch's supplies for milk, but we need to find a place for the baby to settle in. We should do it now. Tidy up and give orders. The grave is probably where you put the mother, right? Burial near a men here usually requires special permissions, but you couldn't care less now. Let's do grave. Okay, sure. You decide against burying the bodies that lay on the ground. At least all the fallen all the fallen beside the men here have found a common grave. You've no further business here, so you prepare to head out. You notice Glita is deep in thought. Wait, wait. Why are we heading out? The I, grave was the next step. I don't know. Rather than we the might be able tower? to reload. Before you speak, Lita beats you to it. Why haven't you let me onto the bridge, Dad? Am I a bad fan fencer? Or were you going easy on me? The sorry. It's getting really late. Yeah, it is. Or were you going easy on me during training? You feign surprise. And who else would care for the wounded? Our men aren't exactly a nurturing bunch. So I put my trust in you. And by judging how you handle a childbirth, I wasn't wrong to do so. As for going easy on you during training, that's complete and utter nonsense. Sop, Brett, or Hode? As a witness? For what? I don't know. Uh, I like Sop more than Brett and Hode. Sop! You turn to the lad. He nods agreeably. The captain never cut us any slack during training. He's really taught, us, taught you well, Glita. Your fencing's pretty great compared to many of us. You can tell that Glita's shocked by all this praise and decides to seize the moment. Uh, grab your stuff, everyone. The child's going with you, Glita. There's a squad of NCs prowling about, so get back on your horses quickly. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're okay. good. We can go do the, the tower. Yep. I thought that we were Yeah, we just have to stay away from the compass rose. Oh, so we can heal the party. And you can level them up. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to do that too much, but yes. We do have some levels to uh, distribute. So we have health, energy, walking, onslaught. Extra health to the cost, extra health to the damage. Mm. Not so sold on that. I think I might get him athletics. So that he can move faster? Yeah. Huh? That's the attack. 
attack distance. Ooh, that'd be good for range. Yeah, that's helpful for him. I've never, I've never seen you use bloodletting though. What bloodletting? That's his basic attack. Oh, okay. Or lunge. Oh yeah, yeah, bloodletting, lunge, whatever. Um, yeah, that's his basic attack, the one that self heals. Okay, attack, attack distance, distance and damage. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Unlock skill focus. Character stats focus. Oh. Increases health by 14. It's a self heal. Yeah. Huh. So we could alternate between dead shot and focus. That's not a bad idea. Otherwise, we could just get archery match master, which increases his distance and damage. Okay, it depends on if you want him to self-heal or damage and go further with his shots. I think... He t hasn't gotten damaged much lately. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go distance and yeah. damage. Because mm -hmm. uh, he can fire off two of his long-range shots before everything goes bad. Okay, plus three to damage on his basic attack. Everyone Damaged in everyone line. in the line. Or, so, Onslaught, Piercing Strike, or Piercing Strike. So he's got two attacks. Piercing Strike is his basic one. Onslaught is his 24 damage, pushes him back, but costs him 12 health. I almost will never use Onslaught, just mm -hmm. because, uh... Pushing back. Well, he doesn't have much health. That, that too. Now, so this will only thing, hit two people. That'll only hit two people. Yeah. yeah. He has to be right next to them. I think I'd rather just boost his base damage. Okay. What are Vi skills? Yeah, Vi and Ramlin. So Vi... He's a healer. Yeah, he is a healer. So he has meditation. Increases... Ugh. Okay, so he has a self-heal... Uh, this. Okay. Increases the health of a party member and your attack by one. And energy of a party member and your attack by one. Huh. He's interesting. I'll probably maybe keep him around. What about Ramlin? Ramlin. Is he a rogue or what is he? No. Oh, he has magic skills. He's got a little bit of magic, a little bit of melee. So, increases the attack of a party member by 2, deals 4 damage to energy, and increases your energy by 4. Hmm. But it costs him health. Yeah. Reduces the attack of a party member by 1, and decreases and increases defense by 4. Hmm. And what's the skull? Energy by 10, when a party member dies. Eh. Hmm. Health by 5, when you use a card. He's an interesting one. I don't know how much I'm going to use him, though. Are all those passives? or No, uh, no, no, no just those, this one. Those two. Just, just these two are passives. The rest are actives. Does he have any that give him a new attack? Nope. Nope. That's one thing I really liked about Banner Saga. The characters got more interesting. I'm kind of disappointed with this, uh, this setup. Just a little. Okay, everyone's... Yeah. Uh, do I... I'm any not gonna... new cards? Where did they go? Why don't you look at the deck? Deck. Here we go. Drain. That can only be used on turn four. So they're higher level cards. Some of them are broken, is it? Yeah. The grayed out ones? Or you can only have or, no, one these, in your deck these, at a time. The grayed out ones are the ones that I have. Mm-hmm. To all enemies and reduces defense by 20 to all party. Oh, so that's a... What? Yeah, that's and a bad one. Bad for everyone. Well, I'd probably rather have energy surge. Okay. Increases health, reduces health. Attack by five. Defense. I'd probably rather have Energy Surge than Touch of Chaos. Probably. Okay. Sacrifice. <laughs> Kill one party member to boost everybody else. No. Uh. Great. 
Great sacrifice. Nope. Great healing. We're only at one out of five, though. Mm hmm. Health 15 to all enemy and ally. Interesting. Why would you ever want a skill that does the exact same for both sides? I it... don't know. We're going to get Drain over Rancor. Rancor doesn't seem bad. Uh, actually, Rancor is pretty good. I'm going to get Rancor over Chokehold. There okay. we go. That's probably reasonable. I just liked how wasn't the chokehold just a minus 10 to one of your enemies? Like that was Yeah, it's good. a minus 10, but at the same time, drain reduces the energy of a random unit, heals a random party member. Oh, that's a twofold. Yeah, rancor yeah. permanently reduces the attack by five and one to all surrounding units, so I should almost lead with that one. Mm-hmm. Use it on archers, especially. Okay. We already saw the watchtower? Yeah. So in that case, I really wish you could actually specifically save at certain points. Though I guess we just saved, so I guess that's not so bad. Is that the right time? Uh, if we want it to be, yeah. Or I didn't know if you want to... I could keep going, though. I just need a drink of water. Yeah. We'll do one more, like, zone. One more battle, maybe? 